it's easier to feel angry and to feed the uh, angry wolf than it is to bring a presence to the vulnerability and begin to come to the place where we can feed the understanding and wise wolf. It's easier. So what happens is we do that and whatever is unprocessed then sets the seeds for the next round of lashing out. We haven't been with the wound, it gets re-triggered really quickly and we lash out again. So our anger never takes care of it. And sometimes the anger is delayed, as we know, and there's a kind of a more passive-aggressive, but it still gets to us. Some of you might remember the story of a, a guy who confesses to his friend at work that he really blew it, that in some way he was talking to his, his secretary and um, he was kind of attracted to her and asked, and when she asked how the weather was, he said, um, it's kind of nipply out today. And, he felt terrible and embarrassed and he said, oh my God, you know. His friend said, oh, it's not your fault, you know, you just, you made what's called a Freudian slip. You know, why just the other morning I was having breakfast with my wife and I meant to ask, please pass the sugar, but instead I said, you damn bitch, you've ruined my life, you know. <laughs> So I think you get the idea. That you, we hold it in, we, you know, in some way keep feeding the, wolf, the angry wolf, and it comes out in some ways. I mean, they say that women are depressed, when they get depressed, they eat or shop. When men get depressed, they, or when men get, yeah, depressed, they attack another country. You know, it's... So we, so it comes out unless we take the time to face the unfaced fears. And we are in a culture that's got a lot of discomfort and fear at its core, disconnection. But rather than face the vulnerability, we try to consume more, we try to earn more, we try to win more, we spend more, 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 more. We're running. Mm -hmm.